Hi and welcome back um, to the videos for math for business and finance and math application students. We were going over the chapter one word problems and in the last one we had covered 1-47 and I highly suggest that you watch that video as it gives some thought processes. But we're going to continue on here now and we'll pick up with 1-49. Um, okay. And again, I'm just going to start working these problems and, you know, speak out loud as if I'm, you know, so that you understand what's going on through my head as I, you know, work through the word problems. I'm not going to talk about theory or stuff like that. I'm just going to, you know, work through the problems and arrive at whatever I need to arrive at. Okay. So the question says, assume season ticket prices in the lower bowl for the Buffalo Bills will rise from $480 for a 10 game package to 600. Now, in the back of my head, immediately I went and said, okay, 600 minus 480, so that's going to have a price increase of $120 over the 10 game package. You know, the 600 less 480 gives me 120. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need that piece of information, but that's what just was going through my head as I actively thought, think about. Uh, working through these problems. Okay, so fans sitting in the best seats in the upper deck will pay an increase from 440 to 540. So that's an additional hundred dollars there. 540 minus 440 for the upper deck. Right? Again, I don't know if I'm going to need that information. Okay, Don Manning plans to purchase two season tickets for either lower bowl or upper deck. So he's going to purchase two season tickets for either or, either or. A, how much will two tickets cost for the lower bowl? Okay. Well, see, here's where I already have a jump on that information. Now I'm going to go back and forth between this slide and a blank slide um, in order to do these calculations. Okay. So I, the question, uh, what he had, A had said, how much more will two tickets cost for the lower bowl? Well, the lower bowl, um, how much more? Okay, that's an important, important distinction here. Um, how much more will the two tickets cost? It's not asking how much the two tickets cost. The two tickets co would cost 600 twice. Okay, because the, the price went from, let's see here, the price went from 480 to 600. Okay, now if the question had said how much will two tickets cost, well then that would be 600 times 2, which would be $1,200. But that's not what the question asked. The question asked how much more will two tickets cost? Okay, so the more. Now I could do this one of two ways. I can say, okay, if the regular price was 480 and I multiply that by two, I get two times a to 16, so that's 960. And then the increase of the price is, the increased price would cost 1200. And then I would just subtract one from the other. Zero, four, from 11 is two. $240 is how much the increase would cost. Okay, Or I could do it by saying, okay, and remember this was, remember I had said, oh, I was filling in information just in the back of my head. I had said, oh, I, $120. Um, 600 minus 480 is 120. Well, that was information that was just sitting in the back of my head, right? And that's what we, you know, I need that information. That's how much more one ticket would cost. So if I multiply that by two, I end up with the same thing, $240. Okay. Um, the thing to notice here is, is how much less math I'm doing if I do it this way, okay, versus doing it this way. Right? Um, that's the only difference. You can arrive at the same destination, right, um, two different ways but one is more efficient and when you have less steps to take that means you're less prone to to making errors okay so 
um, by storing that information of the $120 in the back of my head. And when the question asks me how much more, then I know that's two tickets times that much more and saved me a lot of work. Okay, so now let me go on to B. <clears throat> How much, again, more, how much more will two tickets cost for the upper deck? Well, this is the same thing I had said um, from 440, the increase was five, um, to 540, which was an additional $100. So for the upper deck, I'm going to take the $100 times two, because he's buying two tickets, and that would be $200. Okay, that would be my increase for the upper deck. So that's my answer to B, is 200 Okay, C. What will be his total cost for a 10-game package for the lower ball? Okay, so now it's asking what will be his total cost for the 10-game uh, package? Well, if the price increased to 600 we had already uh, done this in the previous one, right? If the price was 600 and I'm multiplying it by... I have the 600 and I'm multiplying it times the 2, my answer would have been 1200 Okay, So that's what I would have arrived at for the total cost. Now granted, if I answered A and B by doing the short way over here, yes, I would have to come back and I'd have to go and say, okay, 600 times 2 is 1200 and that's my answer for that. And then D is going to ask me how much is the total cost for the other, okay? Um, so that would have been 540 times 2, um, and that's 0, 8, 1080 for the up, uh, yeah, for the lower ball. Okay, no, oh, sorry, for the upper deck. Um, so in this particular case here, yeah, as an overall scheme of doing things, it might have been a little bit better to do it this way. But you don't know what the questions are going to be asking, okay? You didn't know if you were going to have a C and a D that was going to ask you for totals. So if I'm working through through this problem and I did A and B, I would have done A like this, and I would have done B like this, and then I would have done C like this and D like this, okay? Again, more than one way to skin the cat, all right? All right, I hope you, you had gotten that. If not, then, you know, pause and rewind and watch the video again. All right, so let's go down to um, 1-51. Okay, this one says, Walt Disney World Resort and United Vacations got together to create a special deal. Sorry about that. Um, the air inclusive package features accommodations for three nights at Disney's all-star resort, hotel taxes, and a four-day unlimited magic pass. Prices are 609 per person. And traveling from Washington, D.C. and 746 per person traveling from Los Angeles. No, I didn't... Uh, I could think along the lines of three nights um, in the 609 and three nights in the 764, but I'm not sure if that's going to be necessary, so I'm not going to, it's just sort of stored back there, but um, I probably won't use it for this this kind of a question. And so, A, what be the cost of a f for a family of four, a family of four leaving from Washington, D.C.? Okay, well, 609 per person traveling from Washington, D.C. So let me go to a blank slide. And I've got $609 and for four people. So that's 36. 24, 36 is how much the cost would be for four people going from Washington, D.C. B says, what would be the cost of a family of four leaving from Los Angeles? Basically the same kind of math. Uh, 700 and, what is it, 64? Yep, 764 times four. That's 16. Carry my one, 24, 25. Carry my two, 
7 times 4 is 28, and 2 is 30. So, 3,056 going from Los Angeles. How much more will it cost the family from Los Angeles? Well, since Los Angeles is more expensive, that's 3,056. Washington, D.C., because it's asking how much more from Los Angeles, so it's the difference. One from the other is zero, two, six, six hundred and twenty dollars more is how much it would cost um, to go from uh, Los Angeles versus Washington, D.C. Okay. I'm going to end the video here, and I will pick it up with 1-53 uh, in the next video.